Rhino Sands came about kind of as idea of what we would do if we could build our own personal dream camp. And that's where we saw the amazing opportunity to get involved here and start what's been a lifelong dream of running a tourism business and being actively involved in private conservation. I'm Shannon Ayrton, um, owner and manager, along with my husband of Rhino Sand Safari Camp. Hi, my name's Dale Ayrton. Um, I'm the owner and general manager at Rhino Sands. Um, together with my wife, we run this beautiful camp and the property. We live these very um, kind of disconnected lives, constantly in front of screens and everybody's too busy for anything. So it, Safari gives you an opportunity to kind of step outside your normal life and just disconnect, but then reconnect to the things that are really, really important. Where a Rhino Sands experience stands out from other safari experiences is that we're a small intimate camp, a maximum of only eight people at a time, which means you really get to feel a sense of privacy, a sense of intimacy. There's going to be a small number of guests on your vehicle, you know, a maximum of six people on the vehicle with you. The pace of our camp is is very relaxed, you know, there's no set time for breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. So the game drives, it all just depends on what, you know, what our, our guides and guests are finding out there as to how long they spend out in the bush. Rhino Sands, uh, it's an environmentally friendly camp, so we really have tried to take the environment into consideration with every single thing we've done from um, literally trees growing up through our decks, you know, where we've placed everything. The environment dictated it, we didn't dictate it. And then we try and consider that in all of our running uh, as well, from, you know, serving environmentally friendly wines to um, organic and biodegradable amenities. And lastly, it's a tented camp, and we wanted to give guests the connected experience that tents provide, the experience where guests can sense the environment, feel the environment, be a part of the environment, and you simply can't do that in a, in a, in a built room. For me, the, the most amazing thing about this game reserve is, is how diverse the habitats are that we have here. We've got five different uh, types of ecosystems here. We have you know, the Umsunduzi riverbed that, you know, that runs through the, the southern half of the game reserve, which obviously creates the riverine forest. Um, we've got you know, beautiful open plains. You know, we've got um, thickets in the valleys. We've got you know, nice open woodlands on top of the hills. You know, so from a diversity point of view, you know, what that means obviously is that, is that our carrying capacity for animals is, is greater than most areas um, and also our species diversity is, is obviously phenomenal as a result of the varied landscape and, and habitat types. So over 400 species of birds recorded in the game reserve. And because of the high carrying capacity, you know, the, the game drive is constantly interspersed with, you know, the smaller, the smaller, more common animals that a lot of people take for granted. You're always going to be seeing warthogs and yalas and pilas, um, kudus. Um, our, our cheetah population is performing better than any other cheetah population, you know, in the province at the moment. You know, our cheetah sightings are something that we're becoming very, very well known for. Um, you know, lions are, you know, are commonplace. You know, rhino and buffalo sightings are absolutely phenomenal, um, and as well as the rest of the big five. But I think what you, what guests will experience here is a is a complete functioning ecosystem, you know, with everything you know from a field mouse all the way up to an elephant. Yeah.